Hey everybody, how's it going? We are here with a general and timeless reading. Before we get started, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. I'm seeing there be a new beginning. I'm seeing the high priestess be connected with this. I'm also seeing temperance pop up. So what this means is that there may be something that's sort of unfolding in a more slow way than you want it to. It would mean that there, like, patience is required, time to... This isn't something that you want to rush through. If you rush through, you may be missing what your intuition is telling you. And that's why you want to move more slowly so you can kind of be present and take everything in, okay? I'm seeing this is going to be important. We're starting off with the Six of Cups here. A revisiting of a past relationship. Six of Cups immediately puts you in a space of nostalgia. Like something is popping up that feels reminiscent to you. Whether this be... Like some of you, you could be around family for some reason. Something could be pulling you into the past. This can be a memory, deja vu. Some of you too, you feel like you need a break, but you're having a hard time sitting still. It's like... It's like having anxiety before bed where you may be tired, but you just have anxiety about actually going to bed and laying down. You know what I mean? Like wanting to avoid it. For those of you that that know what I'm talking about. This is actually remember, this is reminding me of... Um, there's something that people do. I forget what the name of it is called, but it's, I think it's called like bedtime revenge or something like that. And it's that when we don't get to do what we want to do during the day, we end up really putting off the time that we go to bed because we take that time back as our own. So like, say you work a 10 hour day and that's like not something that you wanted to do. It's like rather than, than coming home, doing what you need to and then going to sleep and so you can have enough rest for the next day, you end up staying like staying up all night, like doing these little things that you didn't get to do. And it's like you getting your revenge of like taking your day back, but then you end up missing out on sleep. I think that's like the gist of it. Okay. So there's somebody out here that you are struggling with so whoever this person is that's coming around i'm seeing there be tension here this can just be like i don't feel like things are smooth between us you know five of wands comes after the four of wands four of wands is like a relationship a foundation like the four walls of stability you know and Five of Wands is like, there's an extra added element now. Things are getting tricky. Things are feeling challenging because there's this element of change now that's being introduced with the five, okay? So it's like the past and the wannabe future kind of fusing together within this situation and wondering what's going to come out on the other side of this. Like what is on the equal end of this? You locking it up emotionally... You may feel very, um, because it's the King of Cups rather than the Queen of Cups, I'm not seeing this be, like, you know what it is emotionally towards this person, but when it comes to you self-regulating, when you're in the environment with this person, that may be where you find it to be challenging. This can also be you combating your past as well and trying to come to terms with things, which... I'm seeing you're making marked progress here emotionally with you being able to hold space for this situation and yourself within it. For I am hearing failed relationship. Um, that's not my opinion. That's just what's coming through. I saw 444 on the time when I looked up. You may have had a relationship that ended with this person. For some of you, Four of Wands can be like a marriage or you were living with them at, 
at one point in time. Or it was like a higher level commitment that you had with this person. But I mean, like something from the past is coming back around, right? So... You have a choice to make. I'm seeing this choice has not been an easy one. This is like I've been spending time trying to figure out where I am mentally so I can get to the point where I'm ready to make a decision, but I don't, I still feel like I'm on the fence here. But Eight of Pentacles shows like I've been giving as much energy to this as I can. But then there's this part of you that's like, you're giving all of your energy to this, but you may feel conflicted about that. Like, is this really wanna, where I wanna be investing all of my energy? Is that what I wanna do? Cause you wanna work towards your stability and you may be asking yourself, like, is that actually what's gonna come of this situation? Like I'm seeing you wanting to be realistic here about what you're doing. You may feel like you're gonna have to go out and get this on your own. You know, like you you could have hoped something was a shared dream between you and another person and you may be finding out that that's like not necessarily the case, right? I'm seeing that you have a playful connection with this person, but sometimes it may kind of like cross a line a bit. Seeing your guys be like, don't make any sudden moves. Just keep working with what you're working within. It seems to like something may have sort of blown up that you're still trying to regain balance with. Like there may have been an explosion of some sort. Reverse the energies if that works for you. I'm seeing somebody... I'm seeing somebody that's trying to, like, work... They don't know whether or not they should reach out to you. Somebody may be having a hard time, like, really recognizing what their intuition is telling them, or they're just not in a space where they're ready to, like, fully comprehend that. So, right, somebody's trying to make a decision, right, about what, though? They're working on it, they're trying to figure this out, what do I do here, I'm on the fence, here, transmuting the energy, taking more time to work this out. Like, this is a long process, and it's all been about, like, do I reach out to them or do I not? Do I let them know how I'm feeling or do I not? How am I even supposed to word this? Should I even tell them this? You know, all of this stuff. For some of you, this is the same person. Like, you had a connection with this person in the past. There was something tricky that happened on the emotional front that this person is kind of like coming to terms with. Like this could have been somebody in the past that really struggled to regulate their emotions, okay? But I'm seeing they made progress with this. Like for some of you, this person went to therapy. I feel like we have a couple different storylines going on here, but we're just gonna run with whatever is coming through. So anyway, this person from your past, right? You had like some sort of unresolved stuff with them, but you could have felt like, hey, we can't go any further because I don't feel like there's complete accountability emotionally. And so this person like went and got like some sort of help, assistance, self-help, whatever it is that they did, where they made progress emotionally, maybe becoming more self-aware, accountability, understanding like more so how to regulate their emotions, stuff like that, like progress with the King of Cups. They could be going to therapy or they could like have somebody that's guiding them through something like spiritually, mentally, whatever this is. Um, it can also be like life experience as well. This person has matured emotionally. So now they've gotten to this place where like they have you in mind 
and it also seems like they're in a better place to be connecting with you. And so I'm seeing this person be in a spot where it's like they have you on their mind. They're thinking about how things feel unresolved between you guys. There's a focus on how one has worked through what they've worked through emotionally. And in their head, like when they get to a certain point, they're going to be reaching out to you. You could have felt that this was coming. For some of you, this person is you and you're going to be reaching out to somebody I'm hearing something about like world knowledge needed to be acquired, like maybe life experience. Yeah, this is about what somebody wants, but to have the high priestess, this is like somebody wants something, but they have not come out with it yet and said that. So somebody would be keeping it to themselves right now. Yeah, look. It looks like they're going to decide to come through, like, after all of this. Oh, so slow. <laughs> they're, like, investing in, in coming through, but rather than, like, the three hours it would actually take, they've been taking three years. Haven't heard anything from them. This person moves so slowly, but they mean it when they come through. Oh yeah, look. This person's for real. They're like, I feel like our happiness is together with one another. This person is so serious. Like they see you as their two of cups for sure. They had stuff to work on emotionally, like big stuff. You would see a very big difference in them emotionally as well. Like, you would see them... Okay, so it's like this. When you connect with somebody that's holding space for themselves emotionally, you feel calm around their energy. Because they are centered, they feel grounding to you. So that's how you're going to know that this person is in a different space. They're not coming through in, like, some sort of erratic energy that, like, you're feeling anxiety or you feel unsafe or feel hypervigilant, anything like this. This is somebody coming through that puts you at ease. You feel relaxed. You feel calm. Like, you can feel that this person did the work. They're not out here trying to convince you that they did it. No. You can just feel it coming off of them, okay? So yeah, when this person comes through, they really mean it. And this is somebody being like, I feel like together we could have this shared pursuit of happiness. What do you think about that? I mean this for real. Like having the Knight of Pentacles show up, it's like this person, this person really, really means it. Like there's a deep intention behind here that has not been rushed. And this person really does see you as being a potential counterpart for them. Yeah, look. The Ace of Cups and the Two of the Two of Cups. Like you guys have a very very special connection with one another. This would be something feeling very very undeniable. Okay, so this is not a new person. This is somebody that you know, okay? Yeah, look at this. Wow. Okay, so they're really attracted to you important keynote here right they're really attracted to your energy they like your attitude all right they like your attitude so it it goes beyond just them being physically attracted to you they like the way that you carry yourself you have the right vibes to them okay so look this person is coming through this thing about like shared pursuit of happiness and also six of pentacles they're like, I feel like I could meet your expectations. I feel like I could give you something that you would feel like we're equals with one another, that I'm like really showing up here. And this is also somebody that's willing to work with you emotionally and also physically. Like this type of offer is somebody being serious when they come through and being like, let's figure out like what happiness looks like to you, what emotional... Um... <sighs> Ten of Cups is like... 
What's going to bring you happiness when it comes to a partner that you're working with? Like, what do you need? What type of emotional support do you need from me? It's about feeling balanced mentally as well. And this person coming through and be like, I want to figure out what that looks like for you. Like, what are your standards? Let's talk about values here. And then to also have pentacles. This is somebody that's like, and which days do you want me to take the trash out, you know? And like, if I wash the dishes, you can dry them. It's something like that where this person is like, I don't just expect you to show up and get everything done. Like, we're teammates here. I'm a partner for you, you know? It's very beautiful. All right. Let me see if anything else is... A tower. Shocking. This is going to feel like a very different, a very different sort of thing for you than what you're used to. Like, this just comes in on a different level. Three out of the four knights are here, too. There's something here about, like, seeing how somebody has changed in the way that they handle themselves and also how they speak with you and, like, how they communicate. Like, in the past, this person may not have been always, like, very direct with you, and I'm seeing that they're going to be. Like, they really want to talk to you. They feel like it's really, it's going to be important that they bring particular things to light for you. So, yeah, for some of you, you could have had communication issues with this person in the past. You could have felt like they were, they kept things hidden sometimes for some of you. I'm seeing Scorpio here. You know, Scorpio and its shadow, we all have Scorpio, right, so far in our charts. Scorpio and its shadow can be very private to the, but to the point where there's like a lack of intimacy because there's such a hyper vigilance of if I get vulnerable with you, you're gonna like take the control over me, you know? Because Scorpio, archetypally speaking, can be about like power and dominance and control and wanting to like maintain the upper hand, you know? So you could have been dealing with somebody where there were power struggles with them and they kept secrets because of that or just didn't disclose things or wouldn't get vulnerable and tell you how they're feeling, you know? That could have definitely been a theme. Um, that was characterized throughout your relationship with them in the past. But, but I'm, what I'm saying is that you're going to feel a difference, like in a palpable way, in a visceral way, you will be able to feel the difference. It's like the way that they're talking is different. The way that energetically you feel them is going to be different, you know? And they like they want to show you how they've changed as well. <sighs> High priestess. High priestess and the sun. So whatever has not been revealed is going to be revealed. High priestess is like whatever had been, whatever somebody had been keeping to themselves. And it's coming out with this too. Look. Somebody's coming through and being like, this is what's going on. This is what I haven't been telling you. This is what I've been feeling. So the veil is just completely lifted up now on this situation. This may feel like a lot at once. Like you may feel a bit inundated by all of this. Feels like quite a contrast in comparison to how things were happening before. So I'm looking at Sag, Scorpio, the moon, and also the sun on the bottom of the deck. Okay, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for connecting. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.